y'all, what's up? My name's Kelsey K, otherwise known as Kelsey K MUA, and I wanted to thank you so much for being here today. Guys, I'm really, really excited to play around with this eyeshadow palette because here I have this uh, the Sunrise palette from Folklore. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. Oh, and these colors are so pretty. So I'm really excited to play around with that today. I really wanna do like a really, really pretty like purplish, um, like glitzy, like glittery halo eye today because halo eyes look really, really great on hooded eyes, which I have. So I already have my base on. I have prepped and primed my skin. Um, I already have eyebrows on. I already have on eyelid primer. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Okay, so we got a little bit closer, but I don't want to zoom in like all the way. I did have a couple people tell me they're like, yeah, you don't have to zoom in that close in your videos unless you're doing something really detailed. So thank you so much to all of the um, constructive criticism that I've been getting. Well, not really like criticism, but like all of the fantastic feedback that I have been getting back from my viewers and subscribers. So thank you so much. Um, your feedback really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for helping me succeed. So I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly take my brush back over this primer and kind of make sure that there are no fine lines or creasing happening or I might have opened my eyeballs. So starting out, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this shade right here, Latte Please. And I am just going to start putting that on the outer half of the eye and the inner half of the eye using a small pencil brush. Very, very important part to doing a halo eye is that you do not want to blend these two shades together across the top just yet. If you do want to add a little bit more color and dimension at the top of the crease, you can. However, for today's look, I want to keep that very clean looking. Okay, so next on my finger, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here on my finger, Pop of Copper, this like really, really beautiful shimmer shade. Oh, and I'm going to pop it right here in the center of the lid. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this shade. Ah, helpful hint. For those of you who do not know, if you're working with a shimmer shade, shimmer shades typically get actually picked up better on your fingertip. You can try using a dry brush, however a dry brush will not pick up nearly as much pigment when it comes to a shimmer shadow as your finger will. So the next time you're working with like a really really glittery shade and you're not getting as much pigment payoff, try either using your fingertip or you can even use your brush and spray it down with something like this is the, uh, here I have the Max, Mac Fix Plus. Blech, I cannot talk. Um, I got this little mini if you uh, would just want to try it. You can pick it up at Ulta. I got this in like their little impulse section in front of the register. It was, I think it was $16. I want to say the full size ones are like closer to 30 and you get like a ton more product. Next I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy blending brush and use the shade right here, Pure Nude. Tap off the excess and then I'm going to run that just above the tops of those shades really here into I'm mainly focusing this on this bare space where that primer was it's a little bit too fair for me right now I can guarantee you that during the winter time this is going to be my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer because I am so much more fair in the winter like sickly pale fair and this is going to match my skin tone perfectly so I'm not gonna have to do as much like finagling with it you can take your small pencil brush and kind of like go back in and if you feel like any of that color faded. Taking that same fluffy, fluffy brush around the same spot, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, Champagne, and run that just in the crease area too, just to give myself a little bit more shimmer and just to kind of marry those shades together a little bit more. 
And then for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here, Punch Pink, and then run that very generously through the lower lash line. Yeah. Okay guys, I feel like this looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then we will be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. So this is how the final look turned out. I'm really excited. I did this really cute like, like snatched like cat eye. I didn't film it because I've never tried this before and I didn't know if it would turn out okay, but it did. So thank you so much for watching today. I am, uh, please give me a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much. Ooh, and also one more thing guys. If you, if there's a video that you wanna see, please pop it down in the comment section down below. I am gonna be checking that. Um, I have been getting tons of requests on like Instagram and Snapchat to do like a how-to series, like five minute makeup routines or like how to do winged eyeliner. So those videos are gonna be coming to you very, very shortly. So keep in touch. If there's any more videos that you wanna see, please go ahead and pop them down below. I will be sure to make them and then make them hopefully super entertaining. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Again, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you guys can see more videos of me doing stuff like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.